All right, so what we're looking at here is a flow that works with junction objects. The request was, hey, when an opportunity changes, what I want to do is I want to update all of the contacts that are related to that opportunity, but they're not related to that opportunity directly. They're related through a middle object called the opportunity contact role. And opportunity contact role, it's an official standard object, but it's also takes the form of a junction object, which is basically a small object that links two different records together. And it allows you to have many to many relationships. And that means that if you're familiar with opportunity contact roles, it means you can have many contacts that have roles on one opportunity. You can have many opportunities that one single contact is has roles on. Um, and so that's a long standing Salesforce and database capability. And the ability to manipulate those in flow um, has traditionally required a fair amount of a fair amount of work. Uh, and what we've done here is we've created two new installable actions that make this really straightforward. So this flow right here with no loops at all is all that it takes to go through and make a change to all of the contacts that are related to this opportunity through opportunity contact roles. So the design breaks this down into two parts. The first part is an action. It's called get child collection. And the second one is an action called get lookup collection. So these are the two new ones. Once you have, the, once you get out of get lookup collection, what you're going to have is you're going to have all the contacts. You're going to have a collection of all the contacts that are related to this opportunity. And then you can do what you want with them. In this case, we're using the recently provided map collection to change the value of all of the first names of these contacts to George. Not particularly useful, but effective enough for this example. So the um, so let's 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 well let's see let's watch this see see how it works first. Let's go and take a look and find our data. So let's go over into sales. All right, so here I have an opportunity called op one. And it's got two contact roles. And you can see that it's got a contact role to contacts George contact one and George contact two. So you can see I've already run this once. Uh, and here's George contact one, and it's related uh, to this opportunity. And so we've got this nice straightforward process and, and we want to use flow to automate this. So let's change this and instead of George, let's change this to uh, me, uh, my Mary. Okay, so now um, in this particular uh, flow, I'm simply loading in. Uh, there's only one opportunity. I'm just loading it in. So this is this isn't how you would do it. You would set it up with a trigger, uh, and we'll get to the how you can do that in a second. Give you a little preview of something very exciting coming. Um, uh, so you could set it up in Process Builder as a trigger. Uh, you could have this being run from a quick action button on the Opportunity Record page. But for purposes of this demo, I simply just loaded it in and I passed the opportunity in. So let's, let's run this. Okay, so we've run it and now let's go take a look at our contacts. And you can see that all of the contacts have been updated, and all I had to, all I passed in was an opportunity. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's dig in a little deeper. Get child collection arguably doesn't move the dial much because you can already take an opportunity and say using a simple get records right over here, you can say give me all the opportunity contact roles that have 
the ID of this opportunity uh, as their contact ID file, uh, opportunity ID file. Uh, so we could have done it that way, but for um, sort of to to fill out flesh out the tooling, um, I created this uh, this Apex action, and it's got a couple of extra capabilities. You can pass in either a record ID or a record. Uh, you can pass those in dynamically. Uh, and so what this is going to spit out is an opportunity contact role. And if you're not familiar with what this is all about, the new collection action pattern that can be used to build one of these invocable actions for flow allows you to specify what ob what objects you want to use at design time and basically you got to pick them here you got to say I'm gonna pass in an opportunity and what's coming out is an opportunity contact role and by putting this here it allows the developer who built this action to make it work with all kinds of objects so you first set, set these up and then you then you pass in your you specify your inputs and you'll notice that I'm not uh, I'm not doing any of the old variable work I'm not uh, assigning variables creating variables because automatic output handling eliminates the need to do that so this is going to spit out opportunity contact roles those then go directly into the next action and you can see that here this one's set up to expect opportunity contact roles and output contacts and here I'm using the automatic output handling to select the collection. So uh, basically here we need the get related opportunity contact roles and I simply select child collection right there. So no need to create variables anymore. I just pick what I wanted and I'm specifying here that that I'm basically looking up contact so what does that mean well essentially what this action does is it says given two objects that have a lookup relationship between them in this case opportunity contact role has a lookup field called contact ID to, that points to contacts but this can be any lookup relationship so what this action does is it lets you simply say I'm starting with a bunch of object A and object A looks up to object B via uh, a lookup field and here's the name of object B it's all you have to provide is the name of the object that it's looking up to and then what fields do you want to capture uh, from those contacts and that's all this is going to take so this is basically going to say I'm going to start with opportunity contact roles and I'm going to return all the contacts that are associated with all these opportunity contact roles uh, via lookup and this can be done uh, via loops and, and a bunch of other uh, machinations but you no longer need to do that you can simply install this action and use it so this outputs the contact collection and then we simply take that contact collection make a change to the values that we want to change uh, and update the contacts so hope this will be useful to you this is a sort of second wave of collection actions the first wave were things like this map collection that basically allow you to take a collection of any type and do some manipulations on it now we're getting a little fancier now we're getting into relationships and we think that that's going to uh, really simplify a lot of flows, reduce the amount of need for loops, uh, make put less pressure on your limits, and basically continue to improve your flow experience. Good luck!